Go back with up. Yes. yes. Do you need help? Yeah, why don't you grab the big box no. out the back? Dad and I will take care of that. Why don't you go and explore? Have a bit of adventure, eh? G'day, boys. How can I help you? Immigration. <gasps> Just joking. We're looking for a dangerous escapee from the local detention centre. Have you seen him? Sorry, I can't help you. Can I have your name, please? Arthur James Smith. The third. The third? Thank you, Mr Smith. That's all for today. Hey. Ray Lamaya. Mate, you used to have the best inside step in the game. Yeah, bit of a shame what happened to you at the end, eh? Yeah, thanks, man. Cheers. Are you sure everything's going to be okay? I absolutely trust you. It's just that the evidence all seems against me. Look, it's okay. Here. We should leave now. I will be here in 10 minutes. Okay. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Time for new beginnings, my friend. New beginnings. It's a new day. It's okay to feel sad, Neil. It is, Neil. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine, it's... You know, it's... your grandpa was very proud of you. He was, he was so proud of you. Thanks. Thanks, Uncle Sam. So, uh, how's student life treating you? All play, no work, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, in all seriousness, um... How's a love life? <laughs> <coughs> Stop it, Sam. Um... Any girlfriends? Girlfriends? Uh, plural, wow. <laughs> Uh, Where is your girlfriend now? Uh, no, no, not, not at the moment. Pansy. Uh, actually there is this one girl. Yeah, she, she's in my history class. She's quite cool, I really like her. The only thing you like about her is the way she colour blocks her outfits. Eh, hey, Nana? As a, as a friend. Oh, your name. Been conscripted, have you, kid? Not yet. The ballot's tomorrow. Well, don't look so miserable. You might fail the medical yet. What's your name? Thomas Taylor. Bob. Bob Gould. You don't have to go. I know people who can help you. Mr. Knox. OK, 
Cameron. Have you got a second? It's kind of important. Sure. None of this is adding up. I know Bridget and I know just she wouldn't have done this. What's your point? I have a theory. Now's not the time for Hear theories. me out. No. You all run around acting like you know everything. You always have. It's just... Look, a theory isn't going to wake her up, Cameron. Sorry. I didn't mean to. Just let me ask one question. What? William Grant. Does that name mean anything to you? No. Maybe a photo? Do you recognise this man? Look, I, I know you feel like you need to do something, but none of this is helping anyone. OK? OK. Mr Knox, I'm Elliot Harrison. I'm one of Bridget's lecturers. Nice to meet you. Professor Harrison, I've been meaning to thank you for being so accommodating. It's no trouble, really. It's still appreciated. Actually, I swung by to uh, give Cameron something. Is he around? Actually, he just left, but I, I can give it to him. You know what? I can wait. It's a personal matter, after all. I insist. It's not a problem. Thank you. Not a bad effort, mate. That turn to mid-session was perfect. The cutback, though, you know, all well, your time was a bit off. Don't. Come on, mate. Don't what? You know, your mother would have been proud of you. I don't have a chance, right? Look, look, mate, don't be so hard on yourself. Everybody reckons you got this in the bag. Stop it, all right? It's your fault, you know. I did always say you'd amount to nothing. You haven't been around here for a long time. It's because I knew how to beat you at your own little game. Your wife didn't though, did she? You can't get rid of me. I know. 